Can you believe somebody in the comments said I look like Charles Barkley? Now that they've changed banishment, your opponent gets to choose where your models are placed. And that got me thinking. So you think you could banish me? I don't know if that's a good idea. Come on, man. I know exactly where I want to go. Are you sure? No, man. Do it. I'm ready. All right. Banish me. <laughs> he left his phone. Time to order another army. I'm here. I'm finally here. Hey, this is Brent. For today's 1,750 point battle, I'm going to be playing Sylvaneth. And the army is going to be led by this Tree Lord Ancient. For his command trait, he's going to be taking Lord of Spites. For his Deepwood spell, he's going to be taking the Reaping. And he has a magical artifact, the Silverwood Circlet, to try and increase the range of all of his spells. He's accompanied by Drycha Hammerdreth. She's kind of unique for a name character that she gets a choice between two different shooting weapons, so she is going to take a swarm of Squirmlings, which sounds super gross. She is going to be taking <laughs> uh, the Dwellers Below for her Deepwood spell. Over here we have a Branch Witch. Her Deepwood spell is going to be Regrowth, and collectively they're all going to have this endless spell, Emerald Life Swarm, to try and uh, heal lots of my guys. So for the rest of the army, we've got three Kurnoth Hunters. They of course have a Hunt Master, and they're equipped with Kurnoth Scythes. Here's five Tree Revenants. They've got Glade Banners, Waypipes, and the Scion is equipped with a Protector Glaive. Here's three Kurnoth Hunters with Great Bows. They, of course, also have a Hunt Master. Here's five more Tree Revenants with Glade Banner, Waypipe. The Scion also has a Protector Glaive. And here's three more Kurnoth Hunters with Great Scythes and a Hunt Master. And right up front here is a big unit of 30 Dryads, and they have a Branch Nev. So that is going to make this army 1,750 points. Let's see how it does. It's Jack, and I am playing corn today. I have 1,720 points of corn bloodbound with some demons, so it's, it's just corn today. Uh, for battle line, I have three units of blood reavers, two with uh, uh, reaver blades, and one with uh, meat ripper axes. I have a unit of uh, blood warriors. Uh, the champion has the gorglave, and I have a standard bear. I have a unit of blood letters, uh, one with the gore drenched icon, and one with the blood soaked banner. Uh, champion and musician. I have a aspiring deathbringer here. Uh, I have a uh, mighty lord of corn with the ethereal amulet. My army is from Shyish. Uh, Some people ask me about my color schemes. If you listen to the um, the Age of Sigmar audio drama that they released uh, in the episode Sands of Blood, they are uh, there's a corn bloodbound army there that in, in the red waste and it's a red desert. And it actually turns out it's blood that's all dried out and sucked out of all this nu nutrients and stuff. And uh, I heard that, and I was like, well, that's where my corn army is going to be from. So if you asked, that's why. Uh, I have a Korgrath. Uh, my general is this Blood Secretor. I gave him the trait Berserk Lord. That means if he takes a wound or a mortal wound, he can ignore it on a 5 or 6. Uh, I have three Slaughter Priests. Um, let's see, one has the uh, Prayer Killing Frenzy. That means if within 16 inches on a 4-up, he can add 1 to hit for a unit. And the other two, which are these two here, have the uh, Blood Sacrifice Prayer. That means on a 4-up, they can uh, do D3 damage to a unit, or one of their own unit, within 16 inches, and uh, they receive a Blood Tide Point. I have a unit of Wrathmongers. I have Garrick's Reavers here, the Shadespire Warband, for 60 points. That's a cheap Blood Tide Point to me. And that is uh, 1,720 points. Uh, but I also have a War Scroll Battalion, which is the Gore Pilgrims, which consists of these three Slaughter Priests, that Blood Secretor, the two uh, units of Blood Reavers with uh, Reaver Blades, and this unit of Blood Warriors. So we've been playing all of the scenarios from the third table in the General's Handbook 2018. So that just leaves Focal Points, so we're going to be playing that one today. It's a pretty basic scenario. 
the board is split in half diagonally and we're sitting up nine inches away from each other and we're collecting victory points. Now there's five objectives here. There's a central objective and then objectives one through four. So the central objective at the end of each turn is worth two points. Any of the other objectives are worth one point, but if you control objectives three and one, it's worth three points, and if you control two and four, it's worth three points. So there's kind of some nice combos you kind of want to try and get across into the other player's territory, take one of their objectives while holding one of your own. Whoever has the most victory points at the end of Battle Round 5 is the winner. Jack, have you looked at the Realmscapes for Olgu, which is what we're playing today? Not at all. I don't, pre I don't prepare or study. Well, uh, they favor you just a little bit, depending on what we roll. So, uh, actually, Jack, why don't you, why don't you do the honor and uh, let's see what we get. Oh. A four. Oh, that's, uh, that's not terrible. Darkly shaded, the maximum range of attacks or spells is 18 inches. Now, this is kind of interesting, uh, at least for some of these other ones. You know, this one goes down to 12, 6. This wouldn't affect the prayers of your slaughter priests. Kind of an interesting technicality, since they're not spells or attacks. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to be a little restricted in my range, but that's okay. We're also going to get a command ability and a special spell for fighting an Olgu. I'm also going to have access to these spells as well for Melon. I am rolling for my triumph roll. Let's see what I get. Five. That indomitable. Once per battle, when a friendly unit has to make a save roll, you can say that it is, it is indomitable. If you do so, re-roll failed saves for that unit until the end of the phase. I've set up my Sylvanath Wildwood right here in the center of the board. We got the objective Jack. set up, but now it's time for us to roll. Who wants to uh, pick a table side? So here is our table set up. So over here, we've got some Blood Reavers hanging out with some mystical terrain. We've got some arcane terrain over here. And there's one of the objectives moving over here. So we're using the garrison rules for these buildings with a maximum of uh, 30 wounds of models in there. So he's got all of his heroes garrisoning the building, which is nice because he'll be able to measure the range of any of their abilities from the entire building. Jack's got more Blood Reavers over here. Moving over here, Lord, Mighty Lord of Corn. It's more blood stuff. Uh, and here's my Savannah Wildwood. Here's a uh, Mystical Hill. Kind of moving over into my territory. I've got an Inspiring Hill over here. More Mystical Terrain. Trichia and the Tree Lord Ancient. And over here, some more Inspiring Terrain. More Mystical. More Mystical. Like the whole board is mystical. Uh, and Jack, you actually set up first because you dropped your big battalion. I will choose to go first. Uh, Jack's gonna go I first. I need that banner to get dropped. And we're These Kurnoth hunters are hidden in the enclaves. They can be deployed later on in the game. I'm gonna roll for Dreitch's Mercurial Aspect. On a 1 through 3, she is embittered. Or, excuse me, enraged. And a one th or 4 through 6, she's embittered. So, I got a 2. So that means while she's enraged, I'm going to double the number of attacks she makes with her slashing talons, and her flutter furies are sustained by anger, and they can reroll any rolls of one. However, she doesn't have flutter furies, so she's just going to double her attacks. Corn turn one, uh, my hero phase. I'm going to plant my banner, and first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, Cordell and do the uh, killing frenzy prayer on my blood letters, giving them plus one to hit on a four up. Oh, I do get to roll that because my. Uh, my uh, battalion. So I'm glad he. Hit. I'm glad he's. Uh, he's still the same guy. <laughs> he's the same guy. Uh, next guy, he's gonna do uh, blood sacrifice on Garrett Reavers on four up. All right, they take D3 mortal wounds. Three. So holy Garrett's gonna take one, two, three. So I get a uh, blood tide point. Next guy, I'm gonna do the prayer on them. Why did these guys sign up for this? <laughs> uh, gonna reroll that. Got it. D3 mortal wounds. One. So that's uh, two <laughs> blood tide points. And they are. Gone, and uh, that is my hero phase. Cool. Movement phase. Uh, my blood reavers are running. Uh, four plus one because they have the horn. So that is 11 inches. I'm gonna go with the blood warriors. They're gonna run. Six plus five, so that is 11. Mighty load of corn. It's gonna run as well. Right, that's ten inches. Pretty mighty. Yes, mighty indeed. Spying Deathbringer. 
That's nine inches. We'll tuck in over here. They're all Notices. good friends. I, <laughs> may, I, uh, I don't like the way uh, tape measures sound on bat reps. <laughs> so I admit, now it's what that sounded loud to me. There we go. See? A little, little. I, I Jack is making improvements. I think about you guys. <laughs> my, my wrath mongers are going to run. Oh, everybody's pretty fast today. I do want to stay outside of these three, these woods with these guys. So they're just going to tuck up. My cord wrath is going to run. Yeah. What a cool little guy. Uh, blood letters will run as well. There's six inches. I'm just gonna put them closer over here. Alright, so uh, being that we're in the uh, realm of Ogu, there's a lot of movement scenarios that he can do. And so I'm just gonna keep these guys back here to try to limit that. Actually, you know what? These guys will run. I'm going to say that. Oh, that's a total of 12 inches because we have plus one. I'm going to go this way. We'll try and cover all the table edges here. Very clever. Because my portal of skulls is down, uh, I do not ha have to take battle shock for Garrick's Weavers. And uh, my movement's done. I have no charges in range. There's no shooting. Uh, Court Wrath can shoot, but nothing's in range. And uh, that is my turn. So, on to Sylvaneth, turn one. Start of the Sylvaneth hero phase, the Tree Lord Ancient is going to use Silent Communion. On four up, he's going to try and make a new Sylvaneth Wildwood, which he doesn't get. So, casting spells, the Tree Lord Ancient is going to use Mystic Shield on Drycha. So, I successfully cast it, but if I'm within 36 inches of the Portal of Skulls in what is the name of this battalion? Uh, Gore Pilgrims. Gore Pilgrims, which I am. I have to re-roll that, so. I still get it, same Still get it, same roll. Uh, uh, so she's re-rolling ones to save. All right. She's going to use Arcane Bolt, uh, which I get, but I have to re-roll. Still get, get it. That. So I'm just gonna do a single mortal wound to the, oh no, you're trying to unbind I'm gonna try to unbind yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's only 18 inches, right? Because everything is restricted with the, the Ogu? Or is this oh, uh, just no, attacks? No, that's only, like, only, uh, only spells. So okay. I if will, you're within 30, yeah. I'll you're try to three. unbind it with my uh, Mighty Lord of Corn. And his doggy. He doesn't get it. He takes a mortal wound. Takes a mortal wound. All and right. then last, uh, the branch witch is going to attempt endless life swarm, the endless spell. Let me double check. So endless life swarm is cast on a six, but I'm gonna have to reroll that because of the portal of skulls. Still got it. Does uh, someone want to try and unbind? Or I'm gonna one? unbind with a slaughter priest over here. Yeah, thirty inches. Got Ooh. it. Shut it down. Here go these Kurnoth Hunters with bows. They're gonna move three inches up the hill. Two inches, a little bit forward. So now they can draw a line of sight to something. These Kurnoth Hunters are gonna move up five. Pretty far away for a charge, but maybe I'll get lucky. Trich is gonna move up her nine inches. Land right there. All right, so we got a seven inch movement. They are going to start moving up and we'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, finally, moved all the dryads. And the Tree Lord Ancient, he will uh, he'll also pop forward five inches. These tree revenants are just gonna camp on the objective. The Branch Witch is gonna try and keep pace with the dryads. And these tree revenants are gonna run now. And I'll keep that five. I could re-roll uh, a dice for them each phase, but five is pretty good. I don't think I need to re-roll it. So I was hoping to get the Silent Communion to try and deploy the Sylvaneth Wildwoods over there, maybe get some Kurnoth Hunters over there. Didn't happen, so I'm just gonna go ahead and deploy the Kurnoth Hunters right here, more than nine inches away from the enemy and within three inches of the Sylvaneth Wildwood. Kurnoth Hunters with great bows are gonna fire. Their 30 inch range is down to 18. That's good enough, because his blood letter's right here. So the Huntmaster's typically hitting on fours, but he gets plus one to hit for being a Huntmaster. So he needs threes, there's two. The rest of his guys are hitting on fours. There's two more. They wound on threes. I got one, negative one red. That was a six up. <laughs> I saved. Nice. 
Sweet. The Trio Nation is going to fire his Doom Tendril Staff at the Wrathmongers. It's typically an 18 inch range, so that was unaffected. He's hitting on a 2 and wounding on a 3. That's negative 1 Ren. Alright, so I need a 6 to save that. Nope, how many damage? D6. Ooh. Let's roll something big. Hey, five. 5 damage. So that is two guys. No, one guy down and one guy with a wound left because they have three wounds each. Trash is going to use her swarm of squirmlings on the Blood Reavers. So for as many models as are within 10 inches, which is going to be seven, right now she's undamaged, so she's going to do mortal, mortal wounds on a three plus. Hmm. So I'm going to kill four Blood Reavers. All right, uh, this terrain they're in is mystical, and so for each model within an inch of this terrain, when I allocate a wound to them, uh, I will, uh, on a six, they ignore that. So I'll just roll six dice. Oh, or four dice. Four dice so. <laughs> it's time for the, the Sylvaneth charge phase. Phase. <laughs> Tretch is gonna go first. Seven. Seven. Is that gonna bring her in? Seven was just enough. Just barely. Uh, oh, Dredge is in there. Uh, she's gonna block off the tree lord, but hey, that's uh, that's okay. Dryads are up next. Ooh. Okay. Oh, tree lord uh, might have some more room to get in. Eleven. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Uh, I kind of want you to start killing. <laughs> uh, who's next? Um, let's go over here. Let's just see. If these Karnoth hunters can charge. Okay. Uh, no. How about these guys? Nope, they're... Well. No, they can't. Okay. The Dryads are going to enrapture the Blood Reavers this combat phase. For plus combat one phase. Three. I'm going to pile in with Drycha. She's still touching his closest model, so she's just going to move up three and also engage the Blood Warriors, who would much rather smack in the face. She's got 12 attacks right now because of Mercurial Aspect with her uh, slashing talons. She's sitting on fours. See how she does. Average. I'm wounding on threes. And they're negative one ren, two damage each. Okay, so my Blood Warriors have a four up save, going to five up. I save two, and if I roll sixes, because my gore uh, fist, I will bounce a mortal wound back. Ooh. It's one sick. And what's that over there? I missed a it. Five. So five. I'm going to take a mortal wound. Right. Dreccia is going to try and reflect the mortal wound at her back from the mystical terrain. Nope, she takes it. Right. The blood warrior is going to try to reject the two mortal wounds, uh, the two wounds he took on sixes. Nope, he's dead. Violent attack. For her next attack, Thor and Slender Vines, they get 2d6 attacks. I get eight. So I can hit on fours, wound on fours, no rend. See if I can kill another blood warrior. I got three. I got one. Oh, I really, uh, I'm digging dry shot. I like her. <laughs> right, I saved yeah, it, and on the six, I bounced back a mortal wound. No. Took a mortal All wound right. and killed a blood warrior. Uh, so I do get to pile in an attack again with my blood warrior uh, when he dies. So he has two attacks normally, three with the portal of skulls up. So he hits on threes, wounds on fours. It's two hits. No wounds. Also, was he close enough to a Wrathmonger to get another attack? Oh, yeah, it is true. That is true. Wrathmonger's right behind him. Oh, that is cocked. <laughs> I that appreciate back. that. I'm holding the camera. It makes it awkward. Hit. No wound. All right. Bye-bye, uh, Blood Warrior. All right, so uh, my Blood Reavers are going next. These guys have the uh, uh, Meat Ripper axes. So they're, uh, they don't get to reroll once, but I do get a rend on these. And since the uh, the dryads are next to a woods, I am minus one to hit them. Uh, so I'm hitting on five. And that is one hit. <laughs> Fours to wound. One wound at minus one rend. Cool. I've got at least 12 dryads, so because of impenetrable thicket, I've got a four-up save that is now reduced to a three-up save after the meat ripper axe. I save it. Tongue-tied. I have a five-up save. I made it. Yay. Mm -hmm. So now the Dryads are going to attack the Blood Reavers. They're hitting on threes after the enrapturing. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> shoes army, shoes dice. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. Okay, so now threes to wound. 
Oh, I like that again. Uh, four, no rend. No rend, all right. Uh, that, they have a six up save, and then a six up for Mystical. All right. So they fail those, so yeah, you could have three these. guys potentially could make the save. Okay, nope, and they'll four guys dead. Oh, and uh, actually, yeah, roll this one more, too. Okay. Okay, right. still Four guys dead. I've got 12 other attacks to throw at the Mighty Lord of Corn. Not in Rapture, it's just hitting fours and fours. You know? Oh man, <laughs> you need to, we need to burn these dollar store dice. Hey, there's three wounds. Three wounds. I'll take it. I have a three up save, yeah. uh, and it is no rend, even mm -hmm. if you had rend. All right, save them all. He's good. Okay. I'm going next with my Mighty Lord of Corn, hitting with his uh, Axe of Corn. I would normally hit on threes, but because uh, the dryads are next to the woods, I hit on fours. You can't tell what's a tree and what's a dryad. So he has three attacks normally, plus one for being within three inches of the Wrathmonger, and plus one for the portal of scrolls. I like this building. It makes a, a nice giant yeah. building. The Castle of Corn. He's got encouragement all over the board. Three on fours, uh, it's three hits. Wounding on threes at a minus one win. So that's just one. All right, so I've got a five up save after the negative one rend. I fail it. Taking D3 damage. D3, and you do have people in the uh, woods here. Oh, that's true. So it's three damage. Three damage. Let's see. Yeah, I've got three that are within an inch. So let's see if I can try and negate those on a six. Nope. No. So, so uh, you have to take those three then, right? Yeah, I do. So three dryads. Uh, we'll die. Now what's going to happen with uh, the dog? My dog, oh, he has still four, dice. Attacks no, uh, four attacks normally, so plus two. Mm -hmm. so hitting on uh, three fours now, because three is normal. Just one, and wounding on fours. So many dog bites. Just one, no rend on that, though. No rend. All right. Come on, four up. Uh, is anybody within an inch? Maybe that person yeah, I think, I think that dryad's within an inch. On a six? Yeah. No. That dryad also dies. I'm attacking first with my champion with the Gorglave. He has three because he's a champion. Uh, one for the Portal Scrolls and one for being within three of that Wrathmonger there. So he's hitting on threes, winning on threes. Ooh, just two. <laughs> and two, at a minus one rent. So Dreitcha normally has a three up save. It's going to go to a four up. She's rerolling ones because of Mystic Shield. I make them both. Attacking with the rest of the Blood Warriors, and so they hit on threes, wound on fours, with no rain. Why can't I do that? Wounded on fours. Oh, not too bad. Nice. Above average. All right, and uh, no rain on that, so we're back to three up. Three up, re-rolling ones. Oh, some twos. Oh, oh there's, one so there's one two I'm taking. Oh, Ooh, two maybe two. Mystical terrain. Yeah, let's see if I can save that on mystical terrain. Come on, a pair of sixes. Nope, I'm going to take two. Go down to seven. My spying Deathbringer is piling and tagging, aspiring to be a mighty Lord of Corn <laughs> one day. Maybe Corn will bless him with a puppy of his own. Be your hero. <laughs> yeah, he's plus one for the Portal of Skulls, plus one for a Wrathmonger. So this is with his Blood Axe. So that's five attacks, hitting on fours because you're triads. You might as well hit him. All right, so it's two hits and wounding on fours with no rend, just one. Here goes my four up save after impenetrable thicket. No, and uh, I'm too far away now, I think, okay. so I'm just gonna take uh, that one. Whoop. All right, and now he's gonna hit with his uh, wrath hammer. It's D3 <laughs> plus two, so that's four. All corn weapons have the best names. Hitting on fours, again, because the minus one. Two, and wounding on fours. Just one, no rend. Four up save. Ah, oh, man. Alright, he's another dryad. Okay, and um, I will pile in with my Wrathmongers, why not? Wrathmongers pile in, they have a two inch range, so uh, the champion and a normal Wrathmonger are going to attack the dryads, they get a minus one hit, so now they hit on fives. <laughs> Swinging over that guy's head. <laughs> yeah, duck! Uh, <laughs> portal skulls. Alright, one drop, so I'll just reroll one. Sure, sure. Yep, and so that is four hits. Oh, and this is six hit. I tried to get away from you. Mm -hmm. Three is the wound. It's two at a minus one. I'm gonna take these two. My whoops. I dropped it. Okay. Five up save now. Right, one take two. Each. All right. Two more dryads. Bite. Bite. For the battle shock phase, I've lost quite a few dryads, so I'm gonna play it safe. I want to try and tank these guys as long as I can. I'm within six inches of Drycha, so I'm going to use my command point to use Inspiring Presence to automatically pass that Battle Shock. And with that, oh, and also for the points for this turn, I've got one point from over here. 
another one over there, and then the center one is worth two, so that's going to give me four points. All right, robot dice roll off, all roll first, come on, you six, three. In total darkness, remember Jack is breaking ties since he took the first battle round. Oh, oh no! Uh, I'm going to go next. Okay. Dreitch's Mercurial Aspect. Ooh, so this time, that is going to affect my swarm of squirmlings. squirmlings. Get to reroll ones for that, and she's going to count her damage profile as being three less than it was before. Sylvaneth Hero Phase, turn two. So I'm going to get a command point. And this is not a command ability, but I'm going to go ahead and use Silent Communion with Trilid Ancient. Four up. I get to place the Sylvaneth Wildwood. So that's really the only place the Sylvanic Wildwood can go. It's got to be three inches away from uh, everything else and within 24 inches now, holy, within the tree load engine. So I'm going to move right over into magic. Hey, Brent. What? You're killing that hat, bro. Branch Witch is going to use Regrowth on Drycha. Into five. Oops. Well, I got a 12, but I'm going to have to reroll because of that portal of skulls. Uh, I'm going to reroll that because it's cocked. <laughs> Double sixes, double ones, <laughs> same thing, right? <laughs> Portal skulls. Good old Forge World. Trench is gonna go ahead and use Mystic Shield on herself. I get it. But do I not get it? Ooh, I get it even better. You wanna try and unbind that? Uh, sure, I'll try to unbind that. Nope. Oh, Alright, she's off. gonna have Mystic Shield. Alright. Trillard Ancient is going to use Awakening of the Woods on these Sylvaneth Wild Woods. On a five, I could do D3 Mortal Wounds to that Mighty Lord of Corn. Nope. What are these guys doing here? So they've used their way pipes. They have deployed within three inches of any table edge and more than nine inches away from any enemy units. So they're trying to steal this objective from you. No! Then lots of slow Sylvaneth movement. They're gonna move up there five inches. They're gonna move their five inches into the woods. She'll run, might as well. Seven plus, <clears throat> excuse me, need some water. Two, and the trio at Ancient, he's gonna move up his five inches. Chronoth Hunters with Great Bows are gonna shoot at the Blood Letters. So here goes the Huntmaster, hits on threes. He's got two hits, the rest of the guys hit on fours. I got one, there's three, and then they wound on threes. I got one again, but again, negative one rend. Can one. you make another six? No. Okay, I'm gonna damage? do D3 damage this time. Hey, three. three. All right. So Dreisha's going to attack with her swarm of squirmlings. Sorry, for embittered, it's negative two to her profile. So right now she counts as having only uh, taken one wound. So she's going to be doing mortal wounds on a three up and re-rolling the ones because I rolled embittered. So I'm going to target the blood warriors. Uh, all nine of them are within 10 inches. So on a three up, I'm doing mortal wounds. And I'm re-rolling ones. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna do five mortal wounds, okay. and you've got a lot of mystical terrain here. You could save all those with mystical terrain. Yeah, all right. Actually. I'll do my mystical terrain on five. Or six. Six. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Nobody. So that's five mortal wounds. So that's two and a half guys dead. Trailer Ancient is going to fire his Doom Tendril Staff at the Wrathmongers again. He needs a two. He re-rolls the first miss that he gets in every phase because of Lord of Spites. So I make it this time. He wounds on a three, and it's negative one rent. So six up. Ooh, that's another d6 damage on the Wrathmongers for just two. Okay, so it's gonna finish him off and put another wound on that guy. Poor Wrathmonger. Yes. That's gonna conclude the shooting phase. He has a scorpion tail and everything, and now he's dead. The Karnoth Hunters. Can you see me? Where we go? Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> nope, that was terrible. That was terrible. Uh, question. Oh, uh, okay, so they're gonna fail on a five. I think I'm gonna go ahead since they have Envoys of the Ever Queen, they can broadcast any command ability uh, with themselves. So basically, if the Tree Lord Ancient wanted to use the reroll charge command ability, I could just say that the range is from them, so they could use it on themselves. I'm going to do that. I want to try and make it in here. So my five now becomes a 12! Okay, so they wound up there. These Karnoth Hunters are also going to try and charge. I don't have any more command points, so I can't pull that crap again. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll that five. Yeah, it's yeah. Wonky. It Eight still inches. wants to be a five. Um, so I could move there. Uh, I can't make it over there. So these guys are just going to add one more kind of supporting mouth hunter over here. 
start moving away. Okay. You sure you can't just, anything else? Nothing more you want to do? Oh, well, and they're over here. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Attacking a general. No. All and right. then uh, lastly, the trio of ancient is going to charge. You know, he used his command point, so he's not going to be able to reroll this, but if he can just roll. An eight. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, let's see. Is, uh, I'll be able to get a blood warrior. Looks good to me. All right. Okay. Here he goes. All righty. The only way I can steal this objective from Jack is if I make a charge with the tree revenants, they get to reroll one of their dice. So let's see what happens. So right now, they're not making it. I'm going to reroll this. Come on. Don't make it! Let's start off with some of my uh, start of the combat abilities. The Earth Shaking Stomp from the Tree Loot Ancient is within three inches of the Blood Warriors and the Blood Reavers. So let's see if I can make them negative one to hit the Blood Reavers. They're fine. The Blood Warriors are negative one to hit. Ooh. And then lastly, the Dryads are going to. Uh, they're going to enrapture the Mighty Lord of Corn. I know he's kind of unkillable, but we'll see if we can get a couple wins in. Okay. And that just gives you plus one to hit him, right? Yep. Okay. Thought about this a lot. The Trio Nation is going to attack the Blood Warriors first. So he's got three attacks from his sweeping blows that hit on threes, wound on threes, negative one run to do D6 damage, and he gets to reroll the first miss that he gets every phase. So here are his attacks. He's gonna reroll that miss. So he hits all three times. He's wounding on threes. Three wounds with a negative one rend. Right, so there's a five up save for them. Nope. All right, here goes 3d6 damage. Okay. So that's uh, 11 damage. All right, and so I am mystical trained, so I need to roll 11 dice. Yeah. All right, on a six up, I ignore the wound for mystical trained. Uh, just one, so ten oh, re damage. Reroll that one. Oh, re you might get one. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just ten damage. All right. So that's five guys dead. I think uh, one guy already has a wound on him, though. Okay. So the tree loader is going to attack with his massive impaling talon and try and impale this last blood warrior. Uh, he misses. Okay. So my five blood warriors who die will pile in and attack. Yeah. All right. Uh, the five guys who died are going to pile in and attack to Drycha, and uh, because they got stomped, they hit on fours now. Oh, she didn't even kill them. Why do they have a problem with Drycha? Because of those squirrel, squirmlings or whatever. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's She's full of bugs. She's gross. Yeah, so that many hits. Nice. And they wound on fours with no rend. And because she's a monster, I don't think she gets plus one. Correct. She's not getting a cover save from the uh, the hill. We like to play with hills as okay. cover. Four. <clears throat> uh, so you got the three reroll ones, right? Mm-hmm. Your Mystic Shield. So three up save. Mystic Shield. She is. Is she like half Stormcast? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Korgorath, I'm attacking this, uh, the Auburn unit over there, the Fall. Uh, what are they called? Kurnoth Hunters. Kurnoth Hunters. The Fall Moth Hunters. Your favorite unit. Yes, they hit on threes, wound on threes. Alright. So, and that is three out of minus one. And he did get his extra attack from the Portal of Skulls, yes, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so my four up is going to become a five up save. Oof. Save two. So this is two damage. Two damage, and once again, um, it's kind of hard to figure out where you guys are going to go. You know, I am going to put it on this front guy because I don't want to damage my hunt master in the back here. I'm going to select this unit of Kronoth hunters to pile an attack, so they're just going to do a little shimmy, so they can uh, also engage the blood letters. Okay, so the Huntmaster and then this other uh, Colonel Hunter next to him, they're going to attack the Blood Letters with their two inch reach. So let's go with the Huntmaster first. He gets plus one to hit, so he's hitting on twos. He is wounding on threes. Uh, but there's a negative two rend on there, so it's yeah, just going to be three damage. damage. So there's two. Two guys gone. And the other Hunter on the Blood Letters, he needs threes to hit. He needs threes to wound. And that's also going to go through after the negative two round for D3 damage. Whoa, oh. it's off the board. Oh, no, it's off the board. An avalanche. Okay, there's three. 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 Oh, cool. <laughs> and then the last Kronoth Hunter is attacking the uh, Cordura. We did specify that. Okay, yes, we did. <laughs> so he needs threes. And he needs threes. 
So now we're gonna go through, what's the save on the Core Rat? Four, five. Ooh, let me check. The Core Rat has a four up save, so I need to roll sixes. Ooh, I saved oh. one. So 2d3. 2d3, he's got six wounds. Do I just kill him right here? Ooh, no, no, just barely. Five damage. Oof. All right, Mighty Lord of Corn is attacking the Dryads. He hits on threes and wounds on, no, hits on fours now. Yeah. They're next to the woods. Nope, and his dog. So many dog bites. Alright, good. Trench is gonna attack. She's gonna attack these uh whoops, knock up the tree. Bad thing to do for the Sylvanath player. Uh gonna attack these blood warriors. Uh, she needs fours to hit. They're talents. Just uh <laughs> three to one. That is two at a negative one rent. Alright, so that is a five up save. Uh one, one fail two. one. So it's uh two damage. Can you reflect that with the mystical terrain? No. So he dies, and then he takes a load. Cool. And now she's going to use her uh, 2d6 attacks from her Thorn Slender Binds. Can I finish these guys off? Oh, four attacks? Maybe not. Force and force. I got two. I got two. What's the rent? No rent. Four up. Can oh. Mystical Terrain save me? Save me. Come on, two sixes. Nope. All right. They both get to pile in an attack. The champion with his Gorglaive is going into Drycha, uh, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Oh, he's actually negative one to hit because of the stomp still. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, that's two out of minus one. All right, her four up save, re-rolling ones. She makes them both. All right, and the other guy. Uh, re-roll that. So that's three hits. And three, three wounds. wounds. No rain on that. He's furious. Guy. Three up save. Reroll the one. Oh, she takes a wound. And Jack, you get a blood, blood tie, tie point. point. Woo! All right, uh, Blood Reaver's hitting on fives. And wounding on fours. So two out of minus one. So therefore it becomes a five up. Losing two more dryads. Oh. This Karnoth Hunter is gonna try and finish off the Korgrath. He needs threes to hit. He is not the champion. He needs threes to wound. Two six up saves for you. Six up. Oh, the core wrath is gone. But I get a blood tide point. Blood tide point. Inspiring Deathbringer is attacking the Dryads. He's going with his blood axe, hitting on fours because of the Dryads next to the trees. And wounding on fours. Nothing. Uh, D3 from his Wrath Hammer. That is two plus another two. Hitting on fours. And wounding on fours. Nope. Alright, that is done. Dryads over here are going to attack the Blood Reavers. Just try and get rid of them. Good jack of blood type point. I don't know. Something. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so they need fours to hit. Oof. And they're getting some extra attacks from the Wrathmongers, who soon will be in their face. They need fours to wound. Okay, can I get rid of Blood Reavers now? There's uh, six wounds. All right, I need sixes. Okay, those Blood Reavers are gone, but I do get a Blood Tithe point. Woo, yay! So the, the Dryads did enrapture the Mighty Lord of Corn. Got 21 attacks against him. Oof. Needing threes. Oh, I know he's uh, he's got a nice save, but let's see if I can tear him apart. Needing fours to wound. Whew. It's got to do something, right? Okay. Seven. I have wounds. a three no up rent. save. Mm -hmm. I need to save some of these. Oh, it took ooh, four. four. All nice. right. He's still alive. I have one wound left. Ouch. All right. So, go on my blood letters. They still have plus one to hit because I got double turned. Uh, so, they're hitting on threes, doing mortal wounds on fives. So, it's two mortal wounds. I'll do that one. And three hits. And then wounding on threes, minus one round. Just one, that minus one round. Five up. Take two more. So sorry, actually, uh, they normally hit on fours, so I'm totally gonna take three wounds, two from the mortal wounds, and then one from the uh, regular hit. All right, I got the wrath mongers, they piled in. Uh, these two, the champion and normal, uh, normal guy, are gonna go into the uh, the dryads and they hit on fives because they're minus one. So it's three. 
and a wound on threes. Which is two at a minus one. Five up save. I lose a dryad. Ooh. And my last Wrathmonger is going into Drycha. So that is four hits because she's not at a minus one. <laughs> and that's two at a minus one. So here goes her four up save. Rerolling ones. Roll one. Oh, she takes One another damage. wound down to five. Right. Trenchy took a wound, so I need to take my mystical terrain. Oh, she's gonna take that. So now the battle shock phase. I've lost three dryads. I don't have a command point anymore since I used it on that reroll for the Kurnoth hunters. I'm just gonna have to take this. I at least get plus one to my bravery for having ten or more models. So my bravery of seven. Uh, I'm going to pass my battle shock. But now we need to show you. Something very interesting. <laughs> All right, so I don't have to take Battleshock with them. Because uh, of Portal of Skulls. Portal of Skulls. But he has more models within range of this uh, marker than I do. And so he'll take it. And But if I choose to roll for my Battleshock and I roll a one, I can summon more guys, which I need to try to do. Oof. All right, come on. One. Oh, ooh, so I lost eight. Eight guys. And I have bravery 10. Mm -hmm. So that's enough for these last two. Blood Tithe Point. Blood Tithe Point. That was worth uh, worth the gamble. Yeah. I can't win. Points at the end of the turn here. I've got one point here. Two more here. That brings me up to three. And because I control this objective over here, I moved away from it, but that's okay. And now I control this objective. That gives me three more. So I'm getting six for this turn. All right. Uh, I have some uh, catching up to do. So I'm gonna, <laughs> he's going to plan his banner. He's going to use a blood sacrifice on him. Kill me. Re rolling. Oh, I hurt myself. That's two. That was Cordell, wasn't it? No, Cordell actually doesn't have that spell. So right. oh, okay, so, but he's by somebody's, by Cordell's example, he's going to yes, yes. damage himself. <laughs> All right, so he, and the next guy will try to do blood sacrifice on him. Got it. So he'll die, and that's two blood type points one for the spell and one for the, the unit dying. So cool. I'm up to seven. Nice. All right, uh, no, I'm not going to do it again, because seven's fine. I'm going to boil these guys' blood. Mm -hmm. D6 model wounds, it's three. Ooh! That will kill this guy and put a wound onto the next one. All right, I'm going to try to plus his uh, uh, plus one to hit. Got it, so he's at plus one to hit. I'm going to boil their blood again. I can do it three times. Got it. Two. Water wounds. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. Another blood boil. Got it? Oof. Six. Ah! And uh, the unit dead. They're going to move their six. Right. Hey, blood reavers are running. That's uh, plus one, so they go with 11 inches. Taking all of your objectives back. Right. My blood weavers uh, here are going to charge. We roll that. No, uh, I'm going to use a command point to yeah. roll that charge. Because those guys are in the building there. Six plus one is seven. Hey, they're going to make it. All right, my aspiring deathbringer at the start of my combat phase is going to use his command ability, Slaughter and Car Carnet, meaning all uh, friendly models within, uh, friendly core and mortal models within 10 inches get plus one attack. And for me, at the start of the combat phase, the Wrathmongers are within three inches of the Tree Lord Ancient. On a four up, they're negative one to hit from the Earth Shattering Stomp. Stomp. Mighty Lord of Corn is going into the Dryads. Uh, I get three attacks, plus one from the Portal of Skulls, plus one for the Wrathmonger, and plus one for the Inspiring Deathbringer. Uh, <laughs> minus one to hit him, but I'm plus one to hit because of my uh, the uh, Berserker theory, I think it's called. All right, so that is much better. No, no. No, I hit on three chests. Yeah. All right. And then wound on threes with a minus one rend. So three, minus one. Let's make lots of five up saves here. Oh. Or make two. How many wounds? D3, just one. Ah, oh. okay, and uh, dog bites. Dog bites, let's see. There's another dryad. Ah. Five, so it's four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Yes. There's four normally. Plus one, portal, wrathmonger, and then for that. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Oh, the dog hits on uh, threes now too again, right? 
Uh, oh, was three? Yep. Okay. Four is the wound. All right. So that the is... dog is furious. No rend on that, though. No rend on that. Come on, four up save. Out. You've got sad of how much <laughs> little damage you Ooh, magic three dry. Let's three go down. down. Uh, my tree lord ancient is going to pile in a little bit. Get a little bit closer. So he can uh, he can distribute some attacks. He will go ahead and he'll throw one attack on the aspiring Deathbringer for fun. Good sweeping blows, and then the uh, massive impaling talent and the other two sweeping blows will be on the Wrathmongers. Okay. So the first one on the aspiring Deathbringer, a hit. I don't. The two on the Wrathmongers, they both hit. I get one wound at negative one. All right, so six up. Saved it. Makes it. And uh, the massive impaling in town is going to hit. It's going to wound. That's a negative two rend. Okay. How many damage? Uh, so he has four he has, wounds left. He has four wounds left. Uh, maybe. He has two wounds left. All right, so on a three up, that guy dies. Nope, he's yep. fine. So he uh, takes a wound. Okay. So my uh, champion and a normal guy are going into Drycha. And uh, uh, my other normal guy is going to go into the Dryads. All right, let me turn it off. I gotta... So this, uh, the normal Wrathmonger ha has to hit on sixes because <laughs> of the stomp and them being next to the tree. It's garbage. Oh, nope, nothing. <laughs> All right, and the other guys are going into Drycha. So... Into Drycha, hitting on fives. Okay. Nice. Four. And wounding on three at a minus one rent. So it's three at a minus one. So you got that four up three rolling ones, right? Yep, four up three rolling ones. Ooh, oh, she's gonna take another. Going oh, down. Oh, mystical terrain. Oh, mystical terrain. You're right, 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 right. Nope. Now nah, she's still going down four. Woo. I'm gonna select the tree revenants to attack. Uh, here's their six inch piling. Hey, they're all in. And now, this is your, these are just the regular guys. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do the protector wave first because I get a reroll this turn. So he needs fours to hit. He needs threes to wound. So those are both negative one rend and two damage, so mm -hmm. there's four two, Blood Reavers. Four. And the other guys, come on. Fours and threes, negative one rend. Can they save it? Well, no, they can't. Uh, what, I get, I get one reroll. Let's get a reroll there. Hey, they get another hit. And then threes. So I'll kill four more guys. Oof. Spying Deathbringer's Blood Axe going into the Dryads at a minus one, so he's hitting on fours now. Ooh, that a good That's one. a lot of attacks. <laughs> Wounding on four. Ooh. And no rent. Here's their four up save. Ooh, I take one. Okay. And his uh, axe, or the wrath hammer, it's one plus three. Hitting on three, fours now. Oh, that's all misses. All right. I'm attacking with dryads. They're trying to bring down the mighty lord of corn. Fours and fours, because they cannot enrapture in uh, someone else's turn, but I'll take that. It's pretty good. Needing fours. He's only got a single wound left. Ooh, okay. Five, three up saves. Can uh, I bring him down? Oh, no. Oh, got he died. It. Blood tie point. Ooh. The rest of the dryads are going to attack the Wrathmongers. It's about to get bad, but whatever. <laughs> uh, they need fours to hit. They need fours to wound. Well, not yet. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping here that Dreysha <laughs> doesn't kill any Wrathmongers. Uh, if I kill one of them, he's going to pick one of my guys to uh, attack themselves. So if I can just survive this one combat phase, uh, then maybe I could take them out in another turn of shooting or something. She gets five attacks with her slashing talons because she's embittered. She needs fours to hit. Uh-oh. She needs threes to wound. And it's a negative one rend. You gotta make the save for me. Six you up. You gotta make it. Nope. It's two damage. Right. It's gonna. Uh, uh, mystical train. Oh, mystical train. Come on. Mystical train, save me. Save me. No. Oh, he's dead. He's and, dead. Uh, and I'm gonna make the tree lord ancient yeah. attack himself. Well, you have Let's more see, attacks, yeah, because, right? uh, yeah, I might. Maybe I'll kill another guy, and then Dredge can slap herself too. Here goes the thorn slender vines. Oh, nine attacks. There we go. Fours and fours. Okay, that's good. I can't kill him. Nope. Two hits. What's the win? No rent. 
Uh, save one, so one damage. I'll put it on him. All right, now. I'm sure you're an ancient. Okay, you want to roll for it or want me to roll? Uh, you can roll. Okay, I'll roll. Okay, Trio of Ancient is attacking. So he's got three attacks with the sweeping blows, but you add another because of the Wrathmongers. So four attacks. He needs threes to hit himself. <laughs> he needs threes to wound himself. And uh, now he's got a four up save. I'm gonna take that. So he fails one, he's taking d6 damage. Just one. Takes one. And uh, now slash yourself in the face with a massive impaling talent. Oh, you hit. Oh, you wound. And uh, now I get a five up save. Oh, I, 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 I saved that. So uh, he just pokes himself in the eye with his own stick, takes a damage. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> in Mystical Train, I forgot. Uh, no, don't do that. It's time for the Battle Shock phase. The Dryads have to test. They have lost five. They still at least have 10 models. Their bravery seven. So I'm still gonna make it. Holding on. End of the turn, Jack takes this objective back for one point. And he's got this one as well for two points. And now we're going to go into turn robot. roll off. For robot dice roll off. I'm breaking ties. I'm gonna roll first here. Okay. One. Oh. Three. Okay. I need this and I'm gonna take it. Mm. All right. All right. So I'm using the command ability to teleport one slaughter priest. This is the guy who can uh, plus one to hit. And I'm gonna teleport him over here to this building. And this is for. Playing in Olgu. Yes. Ooh. All right. I am going to plant my banner. I am going to uh, boil the blood of these guys over here. This is 16 inches from the building. Mm -hmm. Just make sure. Yep, there we go. Got it. Two more wounds. Ooh. Two are gone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to boil the blood of. These guys over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, three. Three mortal wounds. That will kill that guy. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna blood sacrifice uh, my general. <laughs> okay, have three mortal wounds. It uh, takes one, but because I uh, am Berserk Lord, yeah. You ignore it on a five. Yeah, ignore on a five or six. Oh, he's a hey. But I do get a blood type point. That is three. Uh, I'm going to set, do the same thing on my general. Roll. All right, deep in one of wounds. Just one. Ignore on five. Ignore it. <laughs> That's blood type one. How? So I'm up to eight. So my slaughter oh. priest over here is going to try to boil their blood. I get to reroll it. Got it. Six. The whole unit. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, plus one to hit prayer. On the Wrathmongers, four up, got it. So Wrathmongers are plus one to hit. Guys, Movement phase. These guys are gonna retreat, so they go D6, plus one. Because they'll run, right? Yeah. Six, so it's 10 inches. It's gonna go up over here. Um, he'll retreat. <laughs> he is going to go eight. So let's go over here. Corn thinks he's super lame. Uh, he does. <laughs> corn, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, okay? I don't need your judgment, Corn. These guys will just run. I'm just gonna kind of bunch up over here. Hold the objective. They're gonna get melted off the objective, but they're gonna do their best. <laughs> they got it for this turn. Yes. That's all that counts. Can. My movement says I am going to summon. I'm gonna use seven of the summoning points. I have 11 total. I'm gonna summon a unit of 20 bloodletters. The summoning has commenced. Blood letters over here. Blood letters over here. And that's gonna conclude the movement phase. Ooh, I needed that. I needed that double turn. <laughs> charge phase. What's going on? I'm gonna attempt to charge these guys in the back. Maybe I can uh, do some damage. You roll that. Nope. Don't move. Nope. I'm gonna use my last command point and attempt to reroll that charge. Hopefully for the best. Nope. Don't get it. Okay. Uh, we'll try these guys over here. They also need a nine. Nope, don't get it. Ooh. Start of the combat phase. Tree Lord Ancient is going to stomp the Wrathmongers. He does not. They narrowly dodge out of the way. Okay. Uh, everybody's going at the Tree Lord. Oh, they do have that plus one to hit. Uh, so they hit on threes. Woo! Woo! 
Moon on please. There we go. Pretty uh, awesome. Negative one rent. Yep. Only got a four up save now. Woo! He's gonna take two, but mystical terrain. If you won't save him, now he's gonna take two. Alright. True Lord Ancient's tempting fate again. There's no way I can get away from these guys. I only have three attacks with my sweeping blows now, because they're giving me an extra attack. I need threes to hit. Uh I just I need to kill them. I'm gonna reroll this from Lord of Spites. Get three hits. I got three wounds. They're all negative one rend. I need some sixes. Alright. I'm taking 3d6 damage. Uh, so they explode. The and uh who so obviously he's attacking himself and uh Dreche's within two. So Dreche will attack herself and he will attack himself. Right. Oh, Tree Lord Ancient hitting himself. Two hits. One wound. Uh, here goes his four-up save. Oh. <gasps> He's okay. Now let's see what happens to Dreisha. Okay. Dreisha hitting herself with her slashing talons, clawing her own eyes out. <laughs> it's every time. Is she gonna kill herself? Three. Uh, uh oh. She's got a. Uh, she still has Mystic Shield up. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is gonna be a four-up save. Three levels. <laughs> Uh, oh. She dies. Yay! One time <laughs> point! Wait, 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 Mystical Terrain. She did six damage to herself. No, she definitely died. <laughs> I'm taking a Battle Shock test for uh, Tree Revenants. They're normally, they're the Bravery Six, they lost two, and they can reroll a dice, which I definitely will. I rolled a five. Uh, okay, so they're okay. Woohoo! Okay. Jack coming back strong in Battle Round Three. He took this objective. He took this objective. He still has these objectives. And because uh, with focal points, you know, the objectives that are across from each other, rather than just being worth one, they can be worth three. So he's scoring six this turn. I'm up next and for Sylvaneth, turn three. Sylvaneth, hero phase. Let's see if I can get some more trees. Hey, yep. I can get some trees. One second. I'll put the trees over here. That's perfect. Perfection. Tree Lord Ancient is going to attempt the reaping on a six. Nope. nope. Uh, the branch wraith, or witch, is going to use regrowth on the Tree Lord Ancient. I'm going to get that, and then I have to reroll it because the portal skulls still get it. You want to try I'm going to use two blood tide points to automatically Ooh, unbutton, that, unbutton that. So. Ooh, now I'm back to zero again. And for the end of my hero phase, I'm going to go ahead and use. Heed the Spirit Song, his command ability, so Sylvaneth within 10 inches of him can reroll ones for saves. Okay. Time for the Sylvaneth movement phase. Trailer Ancient is going to move his 5 inches over here. You also, you also got a command point in your hero phase. Oh yeah, I did, but I already used it. Oh no. On uh, Heed the Spirit Song. Oh, good, good, good. So, uh, Dryads, they're going to try and uh, help out as best they can here against the branch witch is just going to solidify her claim and uh, get some bonuses from being next to the wild woods. The Kurnoth hunters, they're gonna pop out of the woods. Hey there. And these Kurnoth hunters are just gonna stay there. That's gonna be my move. Oh, I, I have one more unit to move. These guys are going oh, five inches. Guys are in coherency there. They were. Oh, okay. We over. knocked them around. Okay. okay. That's my movement. Yes. The Tree Lord Ancient is going to shoot his Doom Tendril Staff at the Blood Letters, but he's uh, hitting on threes now, now that he's taken some damage. He hits. He wounds on a three. Wounds. Negative one rend. Right, I need a six up. Come on. Nope. How many D6 damage? D6 damage. Six. No, don't roll a six. Five. Oof. Brutal. Kurnoth hunters with bows are going to shoot at the Marauder, or Marauders? Blood Marauders. Reavers. My name's not Doug. <laughs> yeah, I need to double up on these guys, make sure they die, because only two guys left is, uh, might not be enough to capture an objective if they're not feeling battle shock. So, the Huntmaster, he's going to hit on threes. Here he goes. He gets a hit. The other guy's hitting on fours. They get two hits. They wound on threes. Got two, negative one rends, so those are going those through. Right through. D3. D3. There are four guys. We'll take these four back here. Starting with the Kurnots Hunters, they're only a little bit away. Hey, they make it and don't embarrass themselves. So they're going to go up. Oops, they're six inch charge. 
Tactical charge here. I don't want to anger the aspiring Deathbringer, so you guys better roll well. Uh, is seven... I just want to reroll. Okay. <laughs> A little bit more, so then I can just... Swing around and stay from you, which means uh, this guy's out of luck. It's up to these guys. Ooh. Okay. Let's go over here. Tree Lord Ancient, I need you. Um, please. Oh good. <laughs> Try to charging. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave Daddy hanging. All right, there we go. <laughs> and trees in the way. <laughs> like everything in this game. <laughs> Tree Lord Ancient is uh, attacking first. Start of the combat phase. I need to stomp. Blood letters on a four up. No, oh, they dodge. So I've only got two attacks with my sweeping blows. I need threes to hit. I can re-roll the first miss because of Lord of Spites. So I get two. Winning on threes. I got one. Negative one rend. Don't make this. Nope. D6 damage for four. And a massive impaling talon trying to just uh, kill another. Oh, I missed. I'm going with these blood weavers here. Uh, so I get fours rerolling ones. They're trying to defend the objective best they can. Mm -hmm. I could do it. Fours. Just two at a no rend. All right, I think I got five up save. And uh, I'm going to reroll one of these. This is my, my one reroll this phase. No, I'm still going to lose two, so I'm going to try and leave the Protector Glaive. Okay. Dryads piling in? Yeah. yeah. The Dryads are going to enrapture the Blood Letters. Okay. <laughs> Supposed to do it at the beginning. Dryads are attacking. Need the threes after the enrapturing. Mm. And now needing fours. There's seven wounds, no rends. All right, so I need fives. Oops, uh, just saved one. Cool. Blood Reavers are attacking these cutoff hunters. Uh, they get plus one attack from the portal skulls and plus one attack for being within 12 inches of the totem. Hitting on fours is one of ones. This is their moment. Time to shine. <laughs> Can't see me. What time is now? Pretty good. And fours with no rain. Oof. Oops, did I switch one over? Yeah, that was switched over. Okay. Still, six is enough to potentially kill one of these guys. What is it? They got a four up save. Huh. <gasps> you kill one! Oh, can the Huntmaster do it alone and take the objective? Oh, I hope not. Huntmaster, prove your worth. You need to kill these Blood Reavers. He's hitting on twos. Oh, he's wounding on threes. So here's two d three wounds. Can I kill them? So one guy is left. All right, fix these trees. Nice and pretty. Just wrecking my right, my whole my, army, uh, all my terrain. I let my frustration be the best. All right, so the blood letters are piled in. They can. It was some. Interesting thing. Yeah, tricky piling. That guy can't really do anything. So, so he is going to go into the uh, tree lord. The rest are going to go into the dryads. Uh, they are within, still within 30 inches of the portal skulls because one guy went away, shortened it by six inches. Sorry. Uh, so I will do here. They hit on fours. One wound on sixes. So that's you got one. One more wound. Thanks. Wound on threes at a minus one. Rest. Two at a minus one. So, uh,. I still have 12, so I get a 5 up save. Woohoo! So I'm just gonna lose this dryad. Oh! Right, and how nice. about the tree lord? One, one, wound, oh. one hit. No wound. Okay, he's still within an inch of this mystical terrain. Oh. He finally makes one! Finally. No mortal wound for him. The scion with his protector glaive. I'm gonna try and kill these guys. I've already used my reroll though, so I'm hitting on fours. <gasps> Nothing. Battle shock time. Uh, the Dryads, their bravery is 7 right now, so they're okay. However, this guy lost 2. He gets his reroll. Come on! He pieces out of here. <laughs> ah! 
At the end of this turn, I fought back here, and I've uh, got this one for one. Still hold the center for two. I've got three more points. I take the lead, but now it's time for another robot dice roll off. Turn four, right. robot dice roll off. Jack's rolling first, breaking ties. Don't roll a six here. Four. Whew, I need a five or a six. I really need to. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm gonna go first. Oh. Sylvaneth hero phase. I'm gonna use a spell from Olgu, Bridge of Shadows. I'm gonna try and cast on his triads. I need a six because then I can teleport them somewhere on the board. I don't get it. And then the branch witch is just gonna try Mystic Shield on herself. She gets it. She has to re-roll them. But she still gets it. You wanna try and unbind that? Don't have to see. Oh I see from over there. It's unbound. Unbound. Start of the movement phase, the tree lord ancient is going to walk the spirit path. Since he's within three inches of the Savannah Wildwood, he will disappear. Show up within three inches of another Sylvanath Wildwood, and more than nine inches away from the enemy. Tree Lord Nation has shown up right here. He's gonna try and uh, see if he can get to this objective. Croth Hunters with bows, they need to start to respond to these blood letters, but they're, uh, they're pretty slow right now. Huh. So they can still shoot. Kronoth Hunters with bows are going to start shooting at these bloodletters. The Huntmaster, he needs twos, or threes to hit. Oh, he got two. Nice. The other guys need fours. One more. He's need threes to wound. I got two. Negative one rend. All right. I need sixes. Nope. Two D3. Let's I kill three. Three. Okay. Tree Lord Ancient is going to shoot his Doom Tendril Staff at the Blood Reavers. If I can get rid of them, make this charge, kill him, I can take this objective. He needs a three to hit. He gets a reroll from Lord of Spites. It's enough. A wound on a three. No! I need a big charge. All right. You want to? Uh, is there any more shooting? That's it. All right. Let's go straight into this charge. You want to let's roll it right now? In, let's go right into this. I've still got my reroll or my command point. Come on, man. Roll big. Okay. I don't use think. It? Yeah. Well, yeah. So I have to use it because it's because uh, he was nine away from that guy. Come on, give me a 12. Let me just swing into all these guys. No! no double seven. Sad Thank you, Corn. Corn looked, uh, even though I ran away, Corn uh, still looked kindly on him. <laughs> I'm going to enrapture the blood letters with the dryads and then start piling them in. Let's tear these blood reaver. Blood whatever. <laughs> it's late. Drives are hitting on threes. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was a nice. <laughs> on this, this feels good because this this is an intense game, and I want to know that I can uh, I can do something. Wounding on fours. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can roll that many fives or sixes. Give it a try. I mean, I rolled that many yeah, fives you or sixes. Did. So. <laughs> Oops. Go and put that in my hand, please. First. Pretty uh, good, but that's the unit. Yeah. But at that point, I'm going with my Blood Reaver. He's gonna <laughs> pile in. It's just like this is the ultimate combat. He's hitting on fours, we rolling ones. So it's two hit. You ready to go down? Okay. Nothing. Uh, you wanna go back? Just Come on, Hunter. Take the objective. You really gonna make me roll, bro? He needs twos. Alright, that's three. And okay. cut him down. That's another blood tide point. Woo. Put me up to three. I'll yeah. take it. Okay. Um, anything for you? That's, that's your turn. And then they're immune to battle shock. So yeah. let's go. Oh, over. I can choose to roll it though. That's true. I'm yeah. going to choose to roll that battle shock if I roll a one. Nope. So they're fine. They're fine. All right. So how many points did you get? Okay. So I've got two from the center, and then because I have these two adjacent from each other, that counts as three. So I'm getting five points this turn. Bringing Oof. me up to 17. Ouch. All right, so I'm going to use these both these guys to uh, blood sacrifice my uh, blood screen. First guy. We roll ones. Got it. <laughs> Give him more wounds. Just one. He ignores it on five or six. Nope, he takes a wound. <laughs> Ow! What are you <laughs> doing to me? <laughs> Next guy. Got it. Give him more wounds. Two. Uh, he ignores it on five or sixes. Uh, nope, so he takes three wounds this time. <laughs> 
But how many blood type points is that? Two. Uh oh. I'm going to boil his blood. Can you roll? Nope. Next deck. You roll? <laughs> so many ones. You roll? Got it. Decent Curse of wounds. Cordell. Two. Oh! Okay. Plus one hit on these guys. You roll? <laughs> Got it. On there. And uh, boil their blood. Good thing for re roll ones. <laughs> Good thing for reroll ones. Got it. D6 mortal wounds. Just one. Oof. Movement phase for corn. These guys are coming up. Move my five inches. I spent uh, four blood tide points. So I'm out of blood tide points. And I summon two units of five blood letters. There and there. And that will bring me to my charge phase. Which I'm going to charge these guys here. That's eight inches. Okay. Blood letters. I'm gonna run into the dryads. Mm -hmm. These guys are charging here. Uh, I'm gonna use my one command point that I have to reroll that charge. Nope, don't get it. And those guys over there will charge. Nope, don't get it. Okay. All right. Uh, my. Uh, Blood letters. I'm hitting on threes because they're plus one to hit from the uh, the prayer from the slaughter priest. Thanks, dude. And I'm doing mortal wounds on fives. That's two, four. And again, they're getting six. extra attacks from the portal of skulls. Mortal wounds. I'm wounding on threes. Four and a minus one. Probably should have taken those away. Piled in the dryads to fight back. Need fours to hit. I'm gonna reroll that. And four is the wound. There's two. two. Alright, so I have a four up save, a five up save, excuse me. So one guy go. I'll just go with this guy. Battle shock. Uh whoop. five plus seven. Uh eight. Thirteen. Uh minus six. They are gone. Fly fly. So this time Brent's gonna roll first. This game is coming down to the fifth and final battle round. Come on, Brent, don't roll a six. And remember, I'm breaking ties. Oh gosh. One, oh gosh. Oh. Three. I'm gonna take it. I'm going. Things first. He's gonna plant the banner. He's gonna try to blood sacrifice himself. You rolling? Okay. That's three mortal wounds. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's your wounds. Uh, here we go. He, but I do get a blood tide point, and I can summon another unit of five. That's all I want. I'm not going to sacrifice anybody else. I'm going to try to boil his blood. Got it. He six more wounds. Six. All right. I'm going to try to boil his blood. Got it. Five more wounds. And that is for sure going to be game. Because... I will go to my movement phase, which... I will run with these guys. <laughs> Hope you die. They, they run. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's what no, I'm you die, not the trees. All right, so they're going to run. D6. Oh, ooh. I got range. So it's in six inches. Right here. Like the trees. Good. And so everybody has to roll. If they were the one, they die. Yeah. Okay. Just roll five ones right now. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to spend the command point and make that a six. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good idea. Five. Just for my enjoyment. Oh, boo. So run. So they go seven. Just want to get closer over here. And I'm going to use two blood tide points to summon a unit of blood letters. So I have zero. That's 12 inches of the building. And with that, even if he doesn't do anything else this turn, here's going to be two points, three points, three points. It's going to give him eight which his total is then going to become 22. So there's no I, way I can win now, Jack. 
I, I don't know if on the channel we've had a come down to turn five objective based. Let's talk yeah. about it in Realm Talk. Yeah, that's <laughs> Realm, Realm Talk. Realm Talk. Realm Talk. Uh, I like, okay, one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to battle reports is hearing people uh, when stuff's not going their way, like moaning and just like, oh, really? Oh, okay. You don't want to make the other person feel bad for yeah. like for killing stuff. And I want to <laughs> apologize to Brent because I was I was doing that off camera a little bit. <laughs> it's all good. Because my like my white whale is Sylvaneth. I've never beat them before. They usually <laughs> kick the snot out of me. And, and they were having a good first then, two yeah, turns. The first two turns, <laughs> if, if, if you can, like, this happens a lot in this game. It's a very swingy game, especially with double turns. I thought, as soon as he got the double turn, uh, game's over. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just, it, you know, it didn't happen that way. Right. But this scenario is actually, I think, good to counteract Jack's that. Army. Uh, you get a lot of victory points <laughs> in this scenario. So uh, that made it, that was pretty important as far as... Like, who is actually going to win? I mean, I only had a couple of units left, so... But, uh, pretty much, like, all Jack's stuff, other than, like, those guys, they weren't on the board at the start yes. of the game. It's like, summoning, uh, like, it's... I had to get over the, the Phil Badsies, as I like to call it, uh, when I just first started summoning for free. But it's, it's, a, it's what 2.0 is. It's a different game, and you can't expect to play... Like it to play like the first edition of Age of Sigmar. Mm -hmm. So, me being able to summon like counteracted like the current off hunters being able to kick teeth in. Or, hey, they got blood boiled away though. So, and, and I could imagine like also he got handicapped by the realm rules. Like, uh, yeah, only a little bit, but that was only on the the bows. The bows, yeah. yeah. And they didn't do much, and you rolled poorly. Much, and right. you, I mean, yeah, they they took off a couple guys. They didn't die. They didn't even you know maybe they were gonna be able to take this objective back, but. Uh, I don't know. Crown Thunders and Scythes are definitely yes. better, but like really, I wanted some range, you know, to try and pick off characters, but like we wanted to try those garrison rules too. Mm -hmm. So those guys were pretty secure mm -hmm. in there. I, I don't think I, I really should have. I don't know, maybe I should have tried to focus on them because, yeah, uh, yeah blood, it blood is, oil is, is yeah. brutal. Because you're like, just like, I roll a one. No, I re roll it. <laughs> and my army, yeah. the linchpin to my army is the Blood Superior. If yeah. you were able to take him out with those uh, archers, mm -hmm. which that was my big fear. Right. Mm -hmm. Which you just, oh, I'm going to shoot that building. Which he would have been minus, with the rules, he's minus one to hit. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're minus one to hit if you're garrisoning a building. So, And we wanted to try the garrison too because for Olgu, you know, you could teleport in between there. I thought that was cool that, you know, that he got to use a command ability and find some shadowy passageway from that busted down building to this nice new one. Yeah, I actually, it worked out for me, <laughs> but I actually wanted to do that before. But I didn't realize you have to do that at the beginning of your hero phase. Yeah, that's and so, okay. but it, it worked out to me because I got to save more points the next turn. I have a question. Uh, MVP for your army, or actually, I'll do your army. You do my army. Who was my MVP? Do you? Uh, your, I mean, do blood letters count? I don't, or I mean, just like the slaughter priests collectively, because even. We were trying to figure out, like, you know, should we do the last turn? Like, is it still possible? And then, like, Jack goes first and real quickly, like, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. It's like, okay, those yeah. were the two things that I had holding down objectives, which, yeah, they were probably going to get taken by blood letters, but, uh, yeah, yeah, they, I mean, and how many how many units of crown thunders did you kill with just blood wolves? I mean, two? Yeah, two, two, units two units of, yeah, so that's, I think, where, I mean, the blood, blood reavers did put in work in right. one turn. What I'm saying. So that's why I think you, we, we need to kind of look to it like Colonel Hunters are are good for mm -hmm. sure, but like that was 400 points of uh, Colonel Hunters and how many points of Slaughter Priests, you know? Yeah, 300 points. Right. So in the end, the Slaughter Priests, you know, in the, it, maybe in the beginning it looked like, oh, Colonel Hunters are like, oh, they're, they're way too good, but then you see how things play out in the end of the game. I think that's important to see like. It might look like something's going bad originally, yes. but if 400 points of Kurnoth Hunters scored some points and then got blasted off the board, I think they kind of averaged out. They definitely, I don't think we're MVP. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, MVP had, definitely is dry, uh, dry shit clawing her own face off. Yeah, that was, that was the moment of the, <laughs> one of the moments of the game. I thought your MVP was your general. Yeah, he's, he's, he's He good. put in work. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a mean guy. Yeah. And he was I've able, always thought I like how he was able to hurt other people, but not himself. Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> I mean, I... I so what's funny is, is kind of like, uh, Shu likes to just, you know, throw out like, oh, like, Wrathmongers are just going to, like, kill 
all my own guys, and I'm always just like, Wrathmongers are chumps. And then here I go, I immediately, yeah, unavoidably get stuck, and it's like, oops, uh, now I'm attacking myself. Because before I was like, I'm going to shoot, shoot him with magic, I'm going to hit him with Doom Tendril Staff, like, there aren't going to be any Wrathmongers in combat. <laughs> and now there was three left, so... Uh, yeah. I, I got lucky because then he didn't kill himself, but Drax should have killing himself. So, uh, congrats to Wrathmongers, their first showing. They did uh, what they're supposed to. Oh, just and uh, it's <laughs> all yours. Oh. Uh, also, <laughs> like again, every time I see how many subscribers we've got, I get just shocked. We just hit 3K uh, the other week, and thank you very much. It's crazy. It's going up all the time. So that's going to conclude Realm Talk.